welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back if you are a returning subscriber god bless you for your support but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you can be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so dear friends our today's video is going to be very interesting it is going to help you know how to go about things or know how things are <laughs> not only that guys it is going to help you make the right choices because you know my goal here is to help you guys to find that right man that you are looking for so today's video is just perfect for you ladies who are on online dating apps and you are only interested in dating young men young men that i'm talking about it is age starting from 20 to 35 not a man that is younger than you no guys age starting from 20 to 35 we call those young men so at this video is going to be about things to observe when dating a young man on online dating apps even in real life guys because i know exists a lot of ladies who are not interested in dating mature men not at all actually some of you have been writing to me telling me that bella i'm on a particular dating app but i don't like it because exist lots of mature men <laughs> mature of the age guys so you complain that you are not interested in those dating apps because exist a lot of mature men because you are interested in dating young men age 20 to 35 yes so this video will help you a lot actually it is perfect <laughs> and i also remember that recently there is a lady who lives in africa she reached out to me on instagram i always help her about online dating so she wrote to me she was like bella i have good news but not all that good <laughs> i told her why i found a white man here in africa but something is worrying me because the guy is too old <laughs> she used this term she told me the guy is aged <laughs> so what i advised her i told her if it doesn't make you happy don't go for it if you think that that age is too much for you you better don't go into it <laughs> so guys i really know that exist ladies who are like that who doesn't want to be in a relationship with an aged man <laughs> yes and that's why i am here today so without wasting much of your time let us start our video right now so guys our number one thing to observe while dating a young man on online dating apps or even in real life you really need to see how much this man is independent Starting with, where does this guy live? Second, whom does he live with? And what kind of a job he does? These things will tell you if the guy is independent. Yes, because a guy who goes on online dating apps to search for a wife, <laughs> it means that he needs to be ready meaning he needs to be independent stand on his own but a guy who is still living with his parents depending on his parents he does not have a stable job guys it will be a very big risk for you to start a relationship with this guy because it will never go anywhere and even if the guy is still living with friends it means that he is not ready he cannot stand on his own so if you are on online dating apps you're interested in a young man age starting from 20 to 35 make sure that the guy is independent and he can stand on his own observe this because it's very very important if you're going to attach yourself on online dating apps with a young guy <laughs> who is still depending on his parents or on the government because i told you some of the european countries exist unemployment so some guys get some money from the government but it's not enough guys that is why you'll find that some guys are living with their friends because the money they're receiving is very little and maybe with the help of the parents 
but with that kind of a man it is going to be a very big problem <laughs> so my advice to you my dear beautiful ladies is that if you are on online dating apps you are interested in dating or you are dating a young man please observe how this man is independent because exist young men who are independent it is up to you to find out who is independent who is still depending on someone else that does not make a good husband or a good partner <laughs> yeah so i thought this is important for you to observe number two to observe when dating a young man on online dating apps is that when chatting with a young man on online dating apps or even in real life especially you ladies who are interested in interracial marriages interracial dating and you are at the age of 30 whereby you want to have kids so badly so don't just imagine that i am chatting with a young man i know he will want kids because not all young men want kids not all guys <laughs> and even some want kids but having kids scares the hell out of them they don't have that courage of having kids <laughs> so you really need to find out about that there is a reality show i was watching recently they could take couples put them in one house but that house was separated with a mirror so if the other couple could be talking then the couple on the other side could hear so there was this couple a very young couple they were married already and the man did not want to have kids and the lady wanted kids actually she was 30 years old <laughs> and the guy was 32 so this guy was saying that i don't want kids at all because i am scared you know i'm just used to my routine every night i sit on the couch cuddle with my wife we watch a movie take some wine you know relax <laughs> Or when we go to the restaurant, it is just the two of us, romantic dinners, you know, such kind of things. So I cannot imagine having a kid, you're watching a movie, cuddling, and the kid is in between. <laughs> or go to a romantic dinner and the kid is there crying. I cannot imagine that. I cannot accept that completely. I cannot sacrifice my life for that. <laughs> He even phrased out a word that really shocked me. He was like, one day he went to a restaurant with his friends and then there was a kid with his mother and father. The kid was screaming. <laughs> he was screaming a lot to an extent that the guy looked at the kid and he said, me being a father to a Satan. I was like, what? <laughs> Is this guy even normal? <laughs> calling a kid satan i can't be a father to a satan <laughs> the kid was screaming to an extent i told my friends let's go out so that is why i'm telling you i don't want kids <laughs> but again guys like we have been talking if you are a lady you really need to have your voice voice it out if something does not make you happy tell him so this lady stand on what she believed in she told the guy you know what if you don't want kids with me that's the end of our marriage <laughs> so in that house there was even the help of psychologists so they talked to the guy tried to you know to make him understand and remove that fear of being a father and eventually guys on their last meeting with the wife to find out what is he going to decide <laughs> the lady was like you know my decision is still the same if you don't want kids let's end this so the guy was like i cannot imagine being with another woman you mean a lot to me you are everything to me so i am going to be a father <laughs> yeah so i think the psychologist also helped him so what i'm telling you guys find out if he really wants kids or not or he wants kids but he is scared 
so you know how to go about it but it's very very important guys you observe this number three to observe when dating a young man on online dating apps or even in real life you need to observe the financial stability of this young man it's very very important i even remember there is a day i sat here i told you that these white men age starting from 20 to 35 most of them are not financially stable they don't have it all most of them yes exist some who are from richer families you find that the family is rich so when this guy finds a job of course the parents are going to you know help this guy buy everything have it all because he is from a richer family or some young men you find that he has a job that is really really good paying him very good so that kind of a young man that means that he is going to have it all that is why i'm telling you it's not all of them that they don't have it all but majority guys 20 to 35 they're just starting their life they don't have it all so if you're going to start a relationship with this guy and you're a lady who wants a man that has it all i think that's a bad choice for you yes <laughs> i don't want you to enter into that kind of a relationship and imagine that he will have it all from today if you did not know you really need to know that not all young white men have got it all most of them at that age they are starting their lives so if you start a relationship you are going to build your future together this is up to you all guys because you know what you want what you are looking for in a man if you think you want a man who is you know financially stable he has got it all don't start a relationship with this young man and later on be like no i cannot continue this relationship because the guy does not have it all <laughs> remember i told you about this <laughs> yeah number four to observe when dating a young man on online dating apps you really need to observe if this young man is mentally mature this is very very important and you also need to know that if you're not yet into a relationship with a young man most young men on online dating apps or even in real life they are not mentally mature not all but most of them that's why you find that you argue a lot even if it is a very very small thing but you always have those stupid arguments <laughs> that sometimes you even end up blocking each other so if you compare the way he behaves and maybe there is another lady who is dating a mature man <laughs> who is mentally mature it is going to be completely different <laughs> there won't be those things of blocking each other there won't be stupid arguments and even if there is a misunderstanding you guys are going to sit down and solve it but with a young man <laughs> they must just leave even unsolved problems hanging like that you sit down you want to talk he just stands up and you know leave you there seated <laughs> and sometimes he might even tell you that you behave like my mom <laughs> i don't want someone who behaves like my mom they don't want to stress themselves about things about problems because <laughs> they are mentally immature so you really need to be very careful of how this young man is acting he behaves around you is he mentally mature or not if you want a man who is mentally immature you can go ahead <laughs> with that man if you want a man who has got a mature mind exist young men who have got mature mind and that makes a very good man a man to start a relationship with number five to observe when dating a young man on online dating apps or even in real life this one is not even something to observe but you should know this and never do this 
If you are interested in dating young men age 20 to 35 or if you are in a relationship with a young man of that age. Never compare your relationship with other ladies that are married to men who are mature because it is totally a different thing. The way those men will behave in a relationship, the way they will treat a woman, the way they are mentally mature. These men have worked for so many years, so they have got it all. If you start to compare yourself with those ladies who are married to mature men, then your relationship is going to be in a mess. Because it is different. The way a young man is going to behave, it is different when you compare a mature good man, because exist mature men who act like kids. <laughs> so I'm talking of mature men who are good. So it is going to be different. And this does not mean that this young man is bad. No guys, the guy does not have enough experience, the guy is still young. So if you are interested or you are dating a young man, you really need to observe this young man if he has got all qualities of a good man. That's so so important because the guy can be young but he has got a good job, it means that you will have to grow together. There is no need for you to leave this man or start comparing this man with a mature man and be like, no, my man is poor. No. Guys, I've told you, why is that other ladies have men who spoil them, have men who give them everything, <laughs> and my man does not do that? Maybe this man cannot afford that, but with time, you will arrive there whereby this guy will spoil you, whereby this guy is going to buy you everything. So guys, never compare your relationship to the relationships of ladies who are dating or who are married to mature men because you will start feeling that you are not lucky enough, the man you have is not good enough, no matter what he does, you will feel like it's not enough. Yes. <laughs> Number six, this goes to all single mothers. So you are a single mother, you are on online dating apps, searching for that right man, but you are interested in being in a relationship with a young man age 20 to 35. Please observe if this young man is not a mama's boy. Because <laughs> most of white men, especially this age, they are still mama's boys. Their mothers does everything for them. So imagine you are a single mother <laughs> and you want this man to be a father figure to your kid who is a mama's boy. <laughs> I'm telling you that's the wrong choice. <laughs> Yes, he might promise you the world. He might tell you, I like your kid. I'll be a good dad. <laughs> but just to get your goodies only. <laughs> so you really need to observe if this man is not a mama's boy. Because a mama's boy will never make a good dad. I'm telling you guys. So be very, very careful, especially single mothers that are on online dating apps searching for white men for marriage and age 20 to 35. <laughs> Number seven, I have talked of you asking a guy you're chatting to on online dating apps if he wants kids or not. If this guy tells you that, yes, I want kids in the future, I really wish to be a father, then that's a good news for you because a man who is young, especially the ones that I've seen here who are good parents, they really participate in parenting a hundred percent, which is very, very good guys. For someone who wants to be a mother, you want a guy who will be with you all the time, support you in parenting. It is very, very bad to be with a man who won't support you in parenting that means you will be a single mother but with these young men who are ready to settle down 
who really want to be parents they participate and another advantage that comes with them they've got energy guys they are still young <laughs> number eight which is the last one guys and this one you don't need to observe it until you try it <laughs> you're not going to find it out by just you know chatting no guys <laughs> it is about the goodies <laughs> so we have two categories on this the first one you will find those young men who are very strong energetic they are so good when it comes to taking the goodies which is very good good news but the second one don't be surprised guys when you start dating a young man especially if you are his first love or the second or third and then this guy is not that good when he takes the goodies you know the way to start as in taking the goodies or maybe the guy is very slow because he doesn't have enough experience <laughs> and it is not the reason for you to leave this guy he is young he doesn't have that experience in taking the goodies expect that guys expect that guys it can happen when dating a young man aged 20 to 35 not all of them that they are experienced in taking the goodies <laughs> ah, so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video you learned something new if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video subscribe please if you haven't until next time i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video Ciao.